Did you know that I have absolutely no plan whatsoever to do an intro for this video? Well, you do now. What's up, everybody? Your boy Lynch, back in here, about to do another video reaction for you. Today, I'm going to be listening to Bauer's brand new LP, Planets Mad. I had no idea this album was even coming out. I'm pretty fucking shot for this. I wasn't a huge fan of Bauer's AA album, but there were some fantastic tracks on it. It was just a few that didn't really do anything for me. It's amazing to see how far he's come since, you know, Harlem Shake. <laughs> Skipping the fluff, without further ado, let's begin the brand new Bow LP, Planets Mad. Track 1, Plank. Fun fact, I used to have a musical duo called Plank. Ha! Huh, what do you know? Ooh! Oh, those war melodies. Yes, Bauer. Yo! I like the snare, I like the bass, I like the little melodies. Nice drop. It's sort of restrained. I'm getting big what's on vibes here. It's a nice intro. It draws you into its world, you know? Is that it? I suppose this little outro is going to lead into the next track. That's what I'm guessing at least. Track two, Planet's Mad. Jungle terror or something, which is never a bad thing. A little bloated 808 on the drop is kind of cool. I like it. It's all right. It's nothing too special for me. Hmm. I'm getting the vibe that these tracks are all sort of made in the style of bangers, but they've kind of got this sort of concept stuck onto it. Does that make sense? Apparently this album was meant to be a concept album, however I couldn't tell you based on its cover art because it's quite literally three red blobs splattered against a black background. Real high art stuff. Track three, Magic. I feel like I'm listening to a Flylo album now. Now I feel like I'm listening to a Tonight EP. <laughs> Oh god, not again. Ooh. I like the bass and the melody coming in. It's alright. I wouldn't say it's magical or anything. If you're into big drums and sparse melodies, I guess this is probably your vibe. I know this is actually meant to be a concept album, but I feel like I'm listening to quite literally concepts. I don't feel like I'm listening to fully fleshed out songs. It's like one or two drops on the track. Then there's these ridiculous 30 second outros to tracks that somehow make it complete. Track four, Yeehu. Really like the intro melody again. He's really good with his melodies. He just doesn't want to seem to use them half the time. Getting a nice tropical vibe here. Oh! Hey, hey! This slaps. This is my favourite track so far, without a doubt. It's one of my favourite Bauer tracks, like period. This is sick. It's like I've just gone to a tropical island and all the people who are living there are literally having a party. I love it. Damn, this is sick. This genuinely sounds like something you'd hear. If you're on holiday on an island. That's my favourite song on this album so far. Track 5, Pizza Waller. This is like my tone deaf friends trying to sing. There's a huge emphasis on drums on this record I've noticed. I'm not really a big blowout drums, minimal melody kind of guy. I like my melodies being quite present in the mix. But, I can't lie to you, the sound is kind of growing on me. This feels a little bit directionless, this track. It's not inherently bad. It's well produced, it's just, it's not saying anything to me. 
songs like this are supposed to say to me, dance, you know you want to, but I'm, I'm not really feeling it. Uh, it's alright. It's okay. Track six, reach up, don't stop. Okay. Not what I was expecting. The sound design is pretty good. It sort of sounds like a techno track now all of a sudden. His melodies are on point. Yeah, he never wants to use them. Stop holding back. This sounds like that dog blood track. Come on, you know what I mean. I don't know how I feel about this. We're halfway through the album and I'm a little bit torn. Like there's some great melodies and things in these tracks. And the drums are well sequenced and well made. It's just, it's a bit empty and sparse in places. And this was my main issue with the Tonight EP. Track seven, Hot 44. Oh, I just saw that this track's over four minutes long. It's so empty. Nothing is going on. I mean, it's not bad, it's pretty well made, but it was not what I was looking for from a Bauer album. How could it be so many atmospheric textures that just lead straight to a big room drop? What the fuck was that? Track 8, Aether. Funnily enough, I was going to have an EP called this back in like 2014. I'm sorry, am I listening to Chase's status? What is this? This is Bauer's attempt at drum and bass. Heavy on the drums, light on the bass. I get it. Track 9, Cool 1, 7 1. Great, another four minutes of sparse notes and bass drums flying everywhere. The drop was nice, but the rest of this is a bit lackluster, isn't it? Doesn't really do anything. I like this bit. Why isn't the whole song based around this part? This sounds good! Dude, this should have been the track. What the fuck? Instead you give us three minutes of nothing. When there's this. Amazing beat switch. This, this is amazing. But typically, it's less than a minute long. Fuck's sake, Bauer. Really taking the piss there, aren't you? Hey, I'm gonna make that the best beat I've ever made and then throw it on the end of this song and make it last a minute. Track 10, Remina. John Hopkins vibes on this track. Oh, fuck it, I've just noticed it's only less than a minute. As soon as it starts getting good on this album, it's less than a minute. I don't get it. He has some great, fantastic ideas that he just doesn't want to expand upon. It's like a concept album, quite literally just the concept. What the hell is this? Track 11, Home, featuring Bipolar Sunshine. I'm liking this a lot. Oh! Fucking yes! This is amazing. I love how like this is the only track with no drugs. Or so far at least. This is absolutely fucking brilliant. This is definitely one of my favourite tracks on this album. This and track four. So good. Track 12, Group. What? Fuck! That bass! 
place is amazing. That's all I wanted from this album. That is exactly what I wanted from this album. Absolutely brilliant. Where the fuck was this on the rest of the album? Seriously. It's somber, it's warm, it's melodic, and then it goes really heavy and crazy. That's what I wanted from a Bauer album. That one track. Verdict time. Alright, so I thought the album was okay. I thought there was a lot of nice warm melodies that were being pulled back in the mix so that the drums could take the centre stage, which to me is just baffling. It's very much like Ape Drums meet What's So Not, you know what I mean? Compared to AA, this is a more cohesive album, without a doubt, that goes without saying. But in terms of what this album is trying to achieve, from a musical standpoint, it's okay. It's only okay. There was some great standouts on this thing. Track 4, track 11, and track 12. And I think there was one before track 4 I didn't mind as well. It kind of grew on me halfway through the reaction. I think I'm going to give this album a 5 out of 10. It's quite an average album to me. There were about four tracks on this I really digged. The rest just didn't do anything for me. Let me know what you guys thought of the reaction down below in the comments and uh, make sure to subscribe. Yeah, it's been fun. It's been real. Peace.